Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is Best Friends Weekend. I'm here with my best friend. Where you at, T? Not with this ironing board. <laughs> so you guys know, um, I am at you ready be on Instagram. So follow me on Instagram. And if you haven't liked and subscribed my channel, please do so now. So we are gonna take you through not everything for the weekend, but we just got done getting ready and beating face. And T looks like a senorita. Hey T. <laughs> So if you guys want to follow her, her Instagram is Priceless Patron at Priceless Patron. Follow her and go like all her pictures. And if you guys are looking for a good skincare, honey, you gotta go follow Glow Care Skincare, okay? Yes. And get you some and glow, get care. You some glow care, okay? You see what glow care does? No foundation, <laughs> just straight face. Straight face. I woke and up like this. this. Boom. <laughs> so we are dressed and ready to go. We are going to where are we going? Cheetahs. 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 We're going to Cheetahs. Sister club, honey. We're going for the food, though. We're yeah. going for the food. So when you come to ATL, you know you need to go to Cheetahs and get you some food. So. Yes, make sure you go to Cheetahs. The food is so good. So good. Yeah, girls, but the food is good. And watch. You're going to tell you. <laughs> I'm gonna be back, I'm gonna tell y'all. So, we're gonna get ready, um, finish getting ready, and then we're gonna head out. So, I'll send y'all some clips later of us, you know, partying and getting down. I'll probably even put some pictures of my food on here. Um, so yeah, stay tuned. Good morning, everyone. We are back. Um, this is day two, day two, day two. Uh, best friend weekend. Uh, good morning, Atlanta. So, recap of last night. We went to Cheetahs, and Cheetahs is a Caucasian, <clears throat> excuse me, strip club. Um, we did not go for the entertainment. We went for the food. The entertainment was very interesting, to say the least. I will keep going to the black strip clubs where they shake a little something and they twerk a little something. Okay. So, anyways, but this strip club had like you know real restaurant food and when i say it was good i mean i cleaned that plate honey okay i had um oven roasted chicken with some kind of gravy um some mashed potatoes and some string beans and i'm telling you that that plate didn't really last long and i'm sorry i told you i was gonna get y'all pictures but i didn't get y'all pictures because i ate it it was gone i was hungry um so yeah, we get in the car last night and uh, we both only had about three hours of sleep. So we just decided, you know what? We are gonna go home and we are gonna go to sleep. But before going to sleep, we stopped by Insomnia Cookies. Well, I did. And I ate that cookie witch like I never had another cookie witch before. <laughs> so um, today is day two. This is the first day of the One Music Fest uh, concert, which is what we came down here for in the first place. Line lineup is bomb. You know, we're going to see Division. We're going to see her, um, Nas, um, and it's a couple other people. So it's going to be a good day today. Um, we're about to actually go get breakfast. Um, we're staying at the W, so we're going to go to their restaurant. So uh, hopefully I can get some pictures so that y'all know what the W's restaurant is working with, okay? Um... But yeah, so stay tuned. I'll be back here later um, when I'm dressed and ready for these festivities and wherever else we go today. I promise I will get y'all pictures and blog about it and tag y'all so that y'all know where to go to go eat. Because you know, my big self that lives in this skinny body is going to go eat and I know all the good places. Um, so yeah, stay tuned for that and uh, I'll catch y'all later. Morning, y'all. We are having some hot tea. <laughs> um, so we went to the restaurant in the hotel um, to get some breakfast. And so since we're sipping tea, we're gonna give you some tea this morning. So we wanna talk about um, this Nikki and Cardi situation. How do you feel about that? Um, I, I mean, I get why Cardi popped off. Yeah, because that's our child. I mean, you don't talk about 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 kids. Kids. Yeah, because I just feel like I'm not even a mother yet. And somebody, somebody talk, talk about, my, about my imaginary kids that I got right now, <laughs> I'm ready to fight. <laughs> so, <laughs> and so I get it. But at the same time, she got to realize she's a brand. Yeah. And 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 she's a br
Yeah, yeah she can hurt her brand. brand. But I mean, I just feel like her and Offset lately just been popping off. <laughs> yeah, they've been they getting been real. Fighting. Wait, who was Offset fighting? I'm and, you know, he was fighting uh, the paparazzi or something. Well, something I like missed that. No, no, I missed that, no. y'all. It was a guy trying to, like, I guess, like, speak to party. This is back when she was pregnant. Oh. And he got in the fight. Oh, so this is first of all, he's on probation. He shouldn't be fighting anyone. Anyway. Yeah, I remember mean, he ended up going to jail. And they was like, he's on probation, probation. But I don't think he's on probation. He got a probation but, violation, but she took the charge for it. Who? Cardi. It wasn't the charge. So they Wait. let him They let him go. So the story was they let him go because the Cardi called the officer. Mm-hmm. And then because Cardi called the officer and he's a big fan, they let it go. Oh, uh, shit. Anything I would, your man. Yeah, I would love I mean, to be a celebrity and somebody call and say, um, you know. But yeah, I don't know. I mean, I like I like Nikki, but I like the old Nikki. When she first came out, she was very humble, you know. Now she I just feel threatened. like yeah, she feels it. threatened because it's not only it. her in the game, and it's cool. But you can't keep you know doing you can't stuff move like that though. I mean. Look at Beyonce. She loves everyone. Rihanna came along. Rihanna, a big star too. So, I don't know. I don't think that Cardi should be fighting at, you know, Fashion Week events though. Right. I need for her to have a little bit more restraint because she's out here getting this money. And then, you know. She got to be like that lady on that video the other day when she was at the (laughs) dollar store. What dollar um, store? She was at the dollar store and I guess. It was a racist white woman that was like kicking at her because uh, she said that she, I guess, skipped her. Girl! And <laughs> the lady was like, I'm not going to hit you because that's what you want. I'm going to stay here. I'm going to smile. I'm not going to hit you. That's what you want. Yes. Yeah. Like, you've got to be. I thought I sent you the video. I don't think so. It I is didn't see that. The lady so, was like, basically, gotta, in layman's terms, what she's saying is, like Barack Obama said, when they go low, we go high. Yeah, basically. So go high. But yeah, Sometimes I need mean for her. It is. And I think everybody's human. I think everybody, all the trolls on the internet need to understand that. Because I can't stand the person in the comments talking about, oh, you know, she should be doing this and that. You should right. be staying home because you're on the shade room arguing with people in the comments. That you don't even know. Exactly. Trying to fight. Talking about she shouldn't be fighting. <laughs> I've seen your comments. <laughs> <laughs> She need to keep these endorsements and keep And I like Nikki. People. I like them both, so. But I just don't want them to be out here. But the more and more. I don't understand the beat. Yeah, the more and more Nikki acts out, the more and more I believe the stuff that they said that she's done. Like, she said that she was, you know, interrupting her, getting money, and telling artists not to work with her and stuff like that. This is the same thing Remy accused her of. If you go back to the um, interview that she did on Wendy. You know, she was like, she didn't have a problem with her because originally, Remy was a fan of Nikki's, and she yeah. said it in multiple interviews. However, when you start playing with people's money and how they treat their family, that's a whole other situation. And I think, I think that, you know, that's kind of corny of her to do. So that's what she's doing, you know. And I know recently she said on Queen Radio that she don't have what any issues. What is this issue. Queen Radio thing? So basically, she it's has a podcast. Through, it's through Beats, I think, or something like that. But is it a podcast? I don't know if it's a podcast, but I know she did episodes like every week or during the week. And, you know, when she had the um, when she had the beef with Travis Scott, which was dumb. I don't know. But then, I mean, that's what someone else also mentioned. Was like, well, look at what she did with Travis Scott. I mean, she spoke on my baby. Right. So, I don't think we should put that above her. Like, exactly. I'm sure she probably did say something. Something. And they don't even talk to her. Like, they moved their whole seats at the VMAs. They were sitting behind her. They said, oh, no. Oh, really? Move me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, the seating arrangement got changed last minute. But, yeah, I just think that, you know, this is a message for everybody. It don't no matter what you do, because I'm a nurse and I do a, a similar things that a whole bunch of people do. And T has skincare, and everybody is doing skincare because they're into that too. But nobody can do what you can do better than you. Right. You can do whatever you want to do. And what's for you is for you. So and it don't even going, matter what somebody else is doing exactly. on anyway. So 
So it's gonna pan out, and that's just it. So it ain't no reason to take food out of somebody else's mouth or bash somebody else's product because you know theirs may look better than yours or whatever the case may be. You just gotta learn from them. So and you feel threatened, you should get an ABM and be like, look, girl, I've been struggling. <laughs> you know, What's help me Jesus? out. <laughs> and if she's a stand-up woman, she'll give you some tips. She might not give you all of her secrets, you know, but she might give you some tips. You know what I'm saying? So I think, you know. That's a lesson to be learned on morning tea. Okay. With tea and free. <laughs> At the WL. So, this is day two of Best Friends Weekend. And we're just eating because we're starving. Of course. And, Always. um, <laughs> we already got a little outfits picked out. So, we're probably Wait, head to the. Um, I thought we said two? get there at two. Okay. Thomas? We got plenty of time. Go ahead. Um, I ain't. It's exactly. Hey guys, so I'm recording for my gimbal. Um, and I just wanted to wrap up the girls' trip vlog that I did. Um, because we didn't finish talking about a lot of things. So, um, I think we kind of left off on Saturday, and we were going to the concert and everything like that. And then Saturday night. Um, we turned up, okay? We had a bunch of fun. Um, and we went out to Rose Bar Atlanta. Um, it, it was really nice. I liked the decor in there. Um, the music was really great. Um, and so that happened. And then um, on Monday, we went to brunch. And I will put um, some pictures in this vlog from my brunch because it was so good. We went to Highland Bakery um, in Atlanta. Um, and the food was so good. The atmosphere was very down home. You know, I love a good food, honey, okay? Um, but it was very, very good. I had um, their breakfast with the French toast. I'm gonna, I'm, I have to put pictures. I'm going to put pictures up. Um, but it was really good. And then Monday was... Was that Monday that we went? Yeah, Monday we went to brunch. Um, and then I left that day. And it was a, the, the trip was a disaster. I got to the airport on time, actually early. And then they were having some fog and some bad weather here in the DMV area. Um, I was flying into Dallas Airport. They wouldn't let us land. We ended up having to fly to Richmond um, and sit on their landing strip until the weather cleared up. Then we finally got to leave their landing strip, fly back to Dulles, get off. And um, I didn't get home till about 3 o'clock in the morning. And it was a hot mess. Um, it wasn't United's fault. I know that the weather, you know, sometimes gets the best of us as far as flight is concerned. So I would rather be safe, but I would rather have been in my bed because I was supposed to be home by 9 p.m. I didn't get home till 3 a.m. Um, and sis had to work in the morning at her second job, honey. But yeah we didn't get there so overall it was a great 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 weekend um i love seeing my best friend she lives in dallas so i don't get to see her very often so sometimes we try to make it a little interesting and go out um in different states and the and all that stuff like that and the concert was really good i mean i love big sean two chain set was off the chains um who else did we get to see ti was amazing um i loved um seeing monica um so everything was just pretty much great the the i'm glad that i spent that money um for the concert the concert tickets for general admission was literally 150 dollars for two days you can't beat that um so it was amazing i had an amazing weekend and i thank you guys all for coming um for the ride i'm sorry my gimbal is being so temperamental right now but um I thank you guys for coming along on the ride, um, and hopefully I can get this edited um, and put up for you all. Um, so yeah, uh, please follow me on Instagram. Um, I am at you ready B Y O U R E A D Y B underscore underscore. Um, my business page is at Not Just Nurses, so please follow us there. Um, if you're a nurse, healthcare professional, LPN, CNA, I don't care who you are, please follow us. Um, we love everyone. Um, and then if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do that as well right below. Like and subscribe. Um, and yeah, I look forward to hearing from you guys. Please, please guys comment um, at the bottom on the comment section and let me know what you guys want to hear from me so I can start producing the content you guys want to see. Um, so thank you guys for going on my girls, my best friends uh, weekend trip journey. 
Um, and stay tuned for more more interesting vlogs. Um, I think I want to do more lifestyle stuff, um, more nursing stuff. So we'll get into that. But thank you guys for watching. I love you all.